Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely hoster once again. It is Team Rai Rai. Sorry, I just hiccuped. My bad. If you've seen the video from earlier today, thank you for the support. Go check it out. I did the best that I can to discuss that issue and other topics in wrestling. Okay, so follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and my own Facebook page. Page is Color I Show. Maybe you could come on board. I go live every single morning, okay? I discuss about random stuff, like the random wrestling stuff, a few politics, weather, and other stuff. So come on board. I've been doing it for a while, okay? Now it is time once again to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat. Grab some drink. Now, if you don't like that, maybe you want to look at the villain and hear my thoughts, my opinion, and the subject. And, of course, the article will be down below. A little link will be down below. I forgot to mention I have TikTok. It will be down below also. Let's begin here. Now, this past Friday, Sony, sorry, Sony DeVille made her appearance once again. Okay? Last Friday... She was backstage. W did not even acknowledge her why she's there until this past Friday. You know, she said the past is the past. I guess she's a face right now until W decided to change her character, you know. So she's helping what's her face? What's his face name? So you know, she's very beautiful. I never know she's she likes women only. I never knew that. I thought that was just a thing, you know. I I didn't know that. So good for her. So what's your thoughts? You know, you know why she took this time off because um, the stalker was bothering her and other stuff. Just because her and Mini Rose had a feud on TV and he took it way out of line, you know. And I don't know how in the hell the stalker found Sony DeVille. I have no idea. So maybe she said it on her social media accounts for location. That's why I told people don't ever post your location. If you want to share it, just tell people. But don't post it on social media then everyone wants to know. That's not cool. Anyway, I don't know what they're going to do with, with her. Um, so I don't know if she's going to compete. Down the road, right now she's doing backstage segments, so she's in a different role. So you guys could read this, you know. You guys could check it out if you watch SmackDown. Probably a lot of you don't watch it because I don't know. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. You know, I love SmackDown. I love Raw. You know, I just don't like um they're stupid. Brands, but it's it's pointless. Like I said before, you know, I miss the good old days when both shows were just one big show. The reason I did that because some of these guys and gals don't get enough TV time. I guess they were complaining. I don't know. I think everyone needs to be on TV just once, but it's kind of hard. You know, they always put the Guys always on TV, like Brock Lesnar when he was on TV, or Cena. So, we'll see what's going to happen with this. Eventually, I think whatever W has store for her, she's going to leave a position and then probably compete again. So, I don't know if she's going to... I think she could be a decent women's champion, okay? Now, people say I'm racist, but what I say about Asuka... I'm not racist, okay? I think she just needs a translator. That's all I'm saying. That's all. She's very good in a, in a square circle. But I just don't understand her when she talks in the mic, you know? That's all, okay? I'm not racist. If you think I am, then I'm sorry, okay? They're just my opinion. If you hate my opinion, then I'm sorry. But, um... W just very picky on these superstars. When I was growing up, if you suck on the mic, then you have no reason to have a major push. 
Okay, this is when I was growing up. Okay, I guess things change over years. I guess mic skills don't mean nothing these days. You know, you know. I really think Sami Zayn is awesome, but he could be more awesome er in AEW because he's not in this PG world. You know, same thing with Kevin Owens. Those guys probably could do ten times better. In AEW than they could do in WWE. You know. I don't know why. Some guys. Are better than others. Okay. If they leave. Let them leave. Okay. But WWE will never let that happen. Uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Who do you think is better? Sami Zayn or Kevin Owens? I want your honest opinion. Do you think Kevin Owens needs to lose weight? I don't know. They said the thing about the Big Show. And he never lost weight. I don't know. It's, it's McMahon. He's very picky with these superstars. Female. Male. Probably you know already that Charlotte Flair took out her implants. I think that's why that's why she got this major push back then. Because she had a big old boobs. That's not really right for other women of, t of today. I could be totally wrong. But you know how McMahon is. You know. I think it McMahon pays for her surgery. I mean, that's what I heard. So, I don't know if he's still married to Linda McMahon. I have no idea. So, and off the record, what do you think about The Rock or AK Dwayne Johnson bought the XFL? Do you think he will fix it, do better things than McMahon did? We'll find out in two years. I love football with a passion, but I really wish the XFL, when it first launched, the W or Tub WF was not involved. That was a huge mistake. You know, I love high school, football, college, pro, and even amateur. I love it all, okay? I'm not picky. Some of you are very picky with sports. I don't understand new people. But, um, I guess the ratings from SmackDown was pretty decent. I'm just afraid how it's going to look like from Monday Night Raw. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they don't have great creators, great writers for Raw. I don't understand. They need a huge, major spark. Okay? They need a kick in the pants. I guarantee you guys out there could do a better job for a writing team or the creating team. Everyone out there, have a good one. Let me know what you think about this article. And I want your positive feedback. Don't give me a hard time. They're just my opinion on it. If you hate it, maybe you should just stop watching my videos. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Very soon I have my Royal Rumble predictions when it gets closer to the Rumble time. If you missed my video from earlier today, I was wondering what is your favorite Rumble moment? What is your favorite Rumble uh, winner? And all that good stuff. Have a good one. Peace out and take care. Stay safe, please.